It was Spellhouse in Atlanta, translation, homecoming for Spellman and Morehouse, and it was as thick as duck butter all around the stadium and in the stands. Alums back in town showing that they still have it, and we're here for it. And so is Pop Pop. We picked this one up in the second half. Morehouse already looking good and feeling good, up 22-0 over Benedict. Now, Benedict not having the year it expected, winless so far, but on the comeback trail, maybe. Third quarter, Raylan Elsey on the receiving end of this Eric Phoenix pass. Trust me, he caught it. Just a bit of two ships passing in the night behind the lens. Later in the fourth quarter, Elijah Watson with a rumbling, bumbling, stumbling touchdown catch. 22 to 13 ball game. The Morehouse lead trimmed to nine. Keep it moving in the fourth quarter. Michael Sims with an insurance policy to Tremel Gooden. And do my eyes deceive me? Santo Dunn earning his scholarship. Not only is he a superstar rusher, he kicks extra points. Uh, this one missed, though, but Morehouse wins the game 34-13. to Go Panthers! A little earlier in the afternoon, across the street, it was Clark Atlanta on Senior Day, hosting one of the teams to beat in the SIAC, Fort Valley State. We find the Panthers up 6-3, second quarter, and Clark Atlanta... Another team looking for its first win, Charles Stafford on the 10-yard pass to Drakkar Jerry. Panthers go up 12-3. Fort Valley not flustered, though. They just pick and chip their way down the field. Slade Jarman, a tactician. He ends this drive, calling his own number. That makes it a 12-10 ball game. Football, much like boxing, protect yourself at all times. Ouch. 6.31 to go before the half. Jarman with the flick of the wrist. Quay Walker with the catch. And then watch this extra gear that he's able to dig down and get. That would put the Wildcats up 17 to 12. It's halftime. Let's enjoy for a few moments. Back to the game, third quarter. We didn't see the play, but Slade Jarman goes down with what we can best describe as a lower body injury. He has to be taken off the field in an ambulance. Everyone wishing Jarman a speedy recovery. He's one of the best to do it in the SIAC this season. Fort Valley State goes up 20 to 12 in the third quarter and the Wildcats have to hold off a pesky Panther effort in the second half, which they are able to do just barely. Fort Valley State gets the win 34 to 27. The status of Slade Jarman will be a big item to watch moving forward with a promising Fort Valley State team.